Okay guys, uh, today's video is going to be on the uh, subject of pre-emphasis and de-emphasis in analog um, transmitters and receivers. It's one of the most um, uh, not talked about subjects, but it's always there and um, it, you use it every day, you just don't know it and generally it just stays behind the scenes, but um, if you're in the in the radio business a lot of times you you do come across the situation where you need to to address it um, to make a long story short it it helps on the radio transmitters that we use to boost the higher frequency audio signals prior to uh, modulating them and sending them over the air um, there's a variety of reasons for this, but and I don't want to get into any of that, but I just wanted to show you the practical effects of when you have um, either flat audio, which is no emphasis, or uh, a pre-emphasized or de-emphasized audio signal. And I just wanted to give you an example of, uh, of both situations. Um, I have uh, hooked up uh, to the uh, service monitor, a, um, a Midland transmitter, and it is programmable for both flat uh, transmit and for pre-emphasis transmit. So I'm going to start with showing you um, the flat transmit and its response. What you want to pay attention to is up at the oscilloscope here, we're going to see the amplitude of the audio as I ramp up the tone frequency as I go across. I'll be starting at 300 hertz uh, modulation and going up to 3K. And you can also look at the deviation meter and see its response and uh, get a feel for what the flat transmit uh, audio response is. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it here and start off. I'm keyed up and I have a 300 hertz tone right now and I'm going to be just ramping that frequency up and you want to look here at my my audio demod uh, signal level which also equates to my deviation but as I ramp up my modulation tone I'm staying pretty consistent in about one kilohertz deviation until I get over the top there at 3000 that's where it naturally cuts off anyway but you can see a pretty a pretty level flat response all the way down uh, no big ups or downs there so that's uh, that's a flat transmit audio now we're going to look at the uh, um, pre-emphasize and this is what your typical uh, transmitter out there in the world is going to do because most receivers require pre-emphasized audio. I'll say that again, most receivers require pre-emphasized audio and they don't even have a way to get around it. The circuits are hard built into the radio. So if you don't send it pre-emphasized audio, it sounds strange. Um, so I'm gonna change the channel on my radio uh, it's the same frequency, just uh, programmed to have pre-emphasis on it, and you'll be able to see the difference in its uh, response. So um, let me start down here at 300, and I'm going to do the same test. I'm going to key it up, and we're going. I'm going to slowly turn up the uh, the uh, frequency on the modulating tone here. So there we go. You can see we're already lower. And as I start cranking up the frequency on the tone, my amplitude is also increasing my deviation. Now I'm all the way up to 1.4. And as I start getting higher and higher, two, I'm, I'm going all the way up to double the deviation I was before. And it'll stay high all the way up to th uh, three where it'll back back down. But you can definitely see as I ramp, ramp up and down the level just gradually increase as the frequency increases. And this is the pre-emphasis curve. This is what it, it's, it's it, the, so the higher the frequency, the more the amplification and the more deviation that it puts out. So it's, it's making it sh uh, skewed 
toward the higher frequency response. If you ever uh, saw a um, uh, graphic equalizer, uh, uh, audio equalizer, and they have the slide up and downs, uh, this would be the equivalent of having the highest uh, slide on the right and slowly coming all the way down uh, to the left so that you have a ramped uh, response. But that is the, um, that's the transmit response on a pre-emphasized transmitter. Um, I'm gonna reset up now and um, switch to receive mode and I'll show you how that works uh, on the receive side. Stand by. Okay, I'm uh, set up uh, again. This time we're gonna be looking at the receiver. Um, what the oscilloscope is looking at now is looking at the discriminator output. Um, and it is um, no, no uh, de-emphasis at all. It's just a nice flat response coming out of it. Um, this is a, an old Midland Mobile, by the way. It's got a really nice uh, uh, response to be able to, to show you the example of it. Um, um, so yeah, once again, I'm hooked up to the receive out uh, audio. I'm going to be uh, adjusting the frequency of my modulating tone in my generating signal here. Uh, and we're going to ramp up and look at how the audio level stays nice and even as I uh, adjust the frequency. And as I ramp up here, you can look at the, uh, the audio level staying nice and even until I get to the top end here and where, where it rolls off. But all the way through, really, really consistent level here. Not, um, um, not up and down at all. So um, this is, like I said, this is straight out of the, um, um, the discriminator there. So we're gonna now um, look, I'm gonna move the lead and we're gonna look at the uh, the same audio after it goes through the Midland um, uh, de-emphasis circuit, and you'll see what it what effect it has. So let me get on here. All right, wonderful. And we're going to do the same thing, and this time, once again, you're going to look at the amplitude here and see its effect as I mm -hmm. increase the modulating frequency. Uh, and you can see it just goes straight. It's the reverse uh, uh, ramping that we saw in the um, uh, preemphasis in the preemphasis for the transmitter. So it's taking all of that um, uh, favoring it gave to the higher frequencies and rolling that back down so it's leveled back out. Uh, so that the audio sounds normal. And I'll show you once again, if you look at the output here, and this would be what would be going to your speaker uh, as it uh, ramps up, it slowly decreases the level. And uh, if you didn't have that in there, what the effect would be is, is that um, as the people were talking and they had a higher frequency voice, uh, it would amplify unnaturally and the person listening to it would it would it's uh, they would just describe it as uh, sounding weird um, and uh, uh, tinny or too trebly everyone's got a different interpretation of what that sounds like but anyway this is like I said a really good uh, an example of a, of a de-emphasis circuit uh, at work so there you go, there's the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis for you in its practical sense. Um, you really kind of need to follow up with some, uh, some theory to get the behind the scenes, but that's what it looks like uh, coming out the radios. All right, we'll talk to you soon.